But over the last 50 years, Parliament has identified a middle category of working people to whom it has given some, but not all, of the rights given to employees under an ordinary contract of service. These people are now defined in Lim B of Section 233 of the Employment Rights Act 1996. So lawyers call them Lim B workers. Entrepreneur and political donor Charlie Mullins entered the Supreme Court to continue a legal battle with consequences for workers' rights. Pimlico Plumbers generates millions and millions of pounds providing plumbers 24-7. But although those plumbers arrive wearing a Pimlico Plumbers t-shirt and driving a Pimlico Plumbers van, the companies say those plumbers should be self-employed. The highest court in the land disagrees. The line where, it's, where you become a worker is where the business exerts control over you. The critical issue for whether you're a worker or self-employed is control and supervision. If I give you orders and consistently give you orders and tell you what to do, that looks like you're an employee of mine and not self-employed. It's been a long time coming. We've um, started this case in 2011. We've won every step of the way, so this is the fourth time that, that Gary has comprehensively won. The judges had a great opportunity to bring out-of-date employment law into the 21st century, and I'm afraid to say, I think they've bottled it. If we can go to the European Court of Justice, we will go to there. If we can't do that, it goes back to the tribunal and we will fight everything possible to prove that this guy, crystal clear, was a self-employed contractor. It's not over yet, we will fight. All of what Mr Mullins says is not relevant.